really feel it when you're playing it. You? Yeah, because uh, playing the character as a good character, and the last year doing the drugs one was really different. It wasn't Zama at all, mm. which was good to play because it showed me how uh, drugs change you totally. Yes. And it was, it was enjoyable. You really had to change your character and get inside how you feel somebody like that might act. Yeah, which is, it was a terrible thing to do because to understand how someone felt is uh, as if they want to get out of it, but they can't, so it was quite difficult. Very difficult to thing to act. I mean, yeah. when you're taken over and possessed by something, you know, like drugs, yeah. which is a terrible thing, I mean, it's very difficult to act, act that out, isn't it, and know exactly how they react. Yeah, because you don't see loads of people, like, if you see someone drunk, you can sit and watch them, but yes. the drugs was quite hard to do. And it's an internal thing. There's not maybe so much visually to go on no, as well. No, that's right. It's a lot, so it's a lot is mentally, thing. yeah. Mm. Sure, on a lighter note, you were saying that when, you, when you're doing Grand Chill, of course, you can't look at the camera. If you look at the yeah, camera, right. they're going to say, don't look at the cameras, but here you've got to. Yeah, I was looking for the one that was on there. <laughs> As opposed to looking for the one That's that was right, on. That's right, yeah. Yeah, it must be a very different feeling, actually. Yeah, it is, because normally we're told off for looking at the camera, but now yeah. we're looking into the camera. And, and of course, the, the usual thing, I mean, are you still getting when you go places? Here at Zamo, and they treat you like, like you are on Grange Hill. Yeah, the, the attitude has changed a lot. Um, a lot of it is protective attitude now, between, towards the drug thing. Yeah. Like they're saying, sort of, stop it, you've got to stop it now. Right. And uh, a lot of um, the older people are coming up and asking questions about the drugs, the right. drugs thing. But Zamo has been a good character all the way through, so I sort of, uh, I so it's quite a strong character yeah. to link it to, really. I think. Yeah, it is, and a lot of people don't understand why he's changed so much. So mm -hmm. it's brought to light how a character can change. Yeah, it's actually good bringing the drug problem into schools, which it very much is, very much in school. Yeah. So it's good to bring it down to that age and, right. and take it from there, so then as opposed to adults to saying, "Oh, you shouldn't do yeah. that." Yeah. That's right, because kids don't normally talk about it to parents, whereas That's right. with kids they can sort of sit with their parents and, sure. say, and then explain it to each other. Sure, well, it's good to be exploring real problems. Right, we have some telephone calls to take here, and we have uh, John Restrepo. Is it John Restrepo? Yes. Morning, you through to Lee? Yes, um, hello Lee. Hello. Um, would your record be in the charts? Um, it, it all depends how well it sells, if you uh, run out and buy it then hopefully it will get in the charts. Uh, we're not really sure, because it, it wasn't the publicity we wanted, it's just the message to get over to, to people to just say no. So uh, hopefully, as long as everybody hears it and everybody understands the record, it should do well. And we hope it gets out to all the uh, kids in schools. Mm. OK, do you think it's a good thing to put a message over like that in...? Yes. Yes? Very good thing. Do you have a, do you have a drug problem at your school at all, or not? Yes, I go to school. Yes? Do you have any problems there with drugs, or...? No. You don't? Oh, that's good. No. Which is your school? Ellerslie. Right, we'll say hello to them then. OK? All right, thank you. Thanks thank for your you. call. Bye-bye. Bye. Right, we have Mandy Lucas on the line. Good morning, Mandy. Hello. Hello, you're through to Lee. Hello. Lee, did you have any special acting lessons to do the part of um, Not really acting lessons, because it's, it's hard to act. What we did, we went along to um, uh, drug addict places and just just spoke to addicts and uh, listened to what they said and how they thought. It's hard to act, it is a more mental thing to do, so it was, it was more listening to people rather than acting it out. Did they mind you going along and watching them closely? Hello. Uh, not really, because they, they didn't know we was doing a programme oh, when I we see. first went, so... Hello? Hello? Right, my friend Claire's really madly in love with you, so can you blow a kiss oh, to her? Yeah, hey. hello. Well, where are you? Oh, thanks. What, okay. does, what does... Hey, listen, what does Claire look like? Um, Can you describe her? <laughs> oh, uh, actually, quite a few people have told her that she looks like Jackie off of Grand Yeah? Oh, you have to tell her to come along, eh? Yeah. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh! Oh, look, the same again, Lee! <laughs> oh, thanks for your call. Thank you. OK, thanks a lot. OK, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye -bye. Well, you got a fan there. Nancy <laughs> Connolly, hello. Hello. Is it Connolly? Hello. Hello, you're through to Lee. Um, before you appeared on Grange Hill, did you ever watch it? Yeah, I used to watch it when uh, Tucker was in it. That was when I was about 11, and I used to really enjoy it. And then having a chance to audition for it was great. And uh, I was really, really proud to be in it when I first got in it. Yeah, I did used to watch it. Can you blow a kiss to my sister Vicky, please? Yeah, sure. Mwah, to Vicky. Can you say hello to all my friends, yeah. including Joan Whitnell? Hello. Okay, Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Right. I, st I still watch it, actually. <laughs> uh, Gemma Agas. Is that how you pronounce your name? No, it's Agus. Agus, sorry. Right, you're through to leave. Hello, Lee. I'd just like to say, uh, ask you, how'd you get on with the rest of the game? Uh, what, the rest of uh, Grange Hill? Yeah. Uh, really well. It, we get on, all of us get on well. Um, me and Jackie get on as really good friends. 
and every, it's just like being at school, everyone gets on really, really well. It's great, it's, it's a good job to do. Magic. Good stuff. Thanks for your call. We've got time for a quickie, and it's Emma Rose. Good morning, Emma. Good morning. Hello, you're through to Zamo. Hello, Lee. Hello. Can I ask you, on Grange Hill, how did you get the nickname Zamo? Um, it originated, it started as Samuel Maguire, and then his schoolmates changed it to Zamo. And, well, Sammy, and then it was changed to Zamo. So it sounds like a washing up liquid, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but um, it, it got changed from Sammy to Zamo. Can I just say that when um, you were in Tenerife last year at the Palm Beach Club, you were persuaded to have some photographs taken with some girls, and I was one of them. Was you? Yeah. Oh, are you going back there this year? Yeah. Oh, so am I, so I'll see you there, eh? Oh, yeah. And don't forget to take the photographs. Eh. Uh, so much for the other girl. <laughs> <laughs> see how fickle he is. <laughs> now, you take, are you going to take the photographs with you this year? Yeah. 